So I'm here with Gavin Mannheimer. He is a player for the Centralia College uh, baseball team. And Gavin, first question I have for you: You're here at the uh, alumni game. Obviously, the old guys are having fun, goofing off. But what's it like to see them coming back and and representing the college as well? It's a lot of fun because I mean, uh, I played with a lot of these guys last year. So I mean, just seeing them again, it's a lot of fun to play around them. And then it's a new program, just the culture is a lot different. So it's kind of cool to show them the uh, how it's kind of evolved a little bit. Yeah, you talk about new culture. You have a new head coach and pretty much a new coaching staff. Um, what's it like having the new head coach? And you know, obviously, Coach Atkinson's coming in with a little bit different mentality. And what are things you're seeing and, and uh, appreciating about that? Oh, it's great. I love Cody. He's uh, he really knows his stuff. So I mean, it's a lot easier to trust him. And like, he just like knows everything there is kind of know about about hitting. So I mean, he's gonna get everyone to hit well. So th- I think this team's gonna be really good hitting wise. And then defensively, we'll find it. You know, and, and then, you know, here you are, you're at a program that, you know, we kind of talked about it has a little mentality change, you know, over the last couple of years. It's been kind of a more relaxed, goof-off type team. But, you know, this year you come out here and, you know, it's fall ball, so records don't count, but you still got to improve. And so what are things you're focusing on hoping to, to make better as you get ready for spring? Me, personally, I'm trying to uh, work the whole field hitting-wise because I want to play past Centralia College because it's the dream to go four-year and then possibly pro. So definitely work all f- uh areas of the field and then also to uh, improve my base running because I think that's lacking quite a bit. So, Yeah, it's always important to know where your weaknesses are to get better at those. And then, uh, you know, that's part of being here at the college level. You know what your weaknesses are. you got to work on those things and improve. And who in your life has been that motivator, that push uh, behind you to get you going to where you need to be? Uh, my twin brother. He's uh, It's pretty lucky because um, I've always had a twin like right next to me. So I get to, he does something, I'm like, oh, i got to beat him. So i got to always do better than someone. So it's never like... I'm like, ah, you know, that person's them, this is me. This We're, like, almost the same person. So it's, it's, he's always kind of pushing me to do better. So definitely him. That's how that competition built yeah. in right off the bat. So, um, you know, also for a lot of players as they're growing up, they look at major league baseball players and kind of say, you know, I like that guy's style, that guy's approach to the game. Is there a player you looked at and said, you know, I, I want to kind of mimic that in a way? Uh, kind of a combination of Mookie Betts and uh, Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor just because he's always smiling. Mm-hmm. And last year I wasn't always smiling, so I'm trying just to be able to accept the, uh, that you fail a lot in this game. And then Mookie Betts just has such a nice swing that, like, that's something I really want to have. Yeah, definitely the ability to forget the last at bat, the last mistake, and move on to, to the next thing is uh, is big for the game of baseball. And then, uh, you know, also you're out here and, um, you know, you see a lot of kids running around, obviously. What advice do you have for them as they're, you know, trying to make it to the college level and, you know, like you, trying to get onto the four-year school and, you know, maybe even minor league baseball? Just keep grinding. Uh, there's never, there's no such thing as too much reps in the cages or on the field. Uh, definitely don't focus on just one thing because if you can hit but you can't play the field, you're not going to play. But, I mean, it can definitely help you get to college. So just kind of work constantly as much as you can because that's one thing I didn't really do. I didn't work a ton in high school. So that definitely is a big factor. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.